idiot. Ah, Mr. Kareem. I wanted to speak to you about the carpets we sent to the British Exhibition. There is a problem, sir? No, no, the carpets went down very well. In fact, the Governor General has received a letter from the Royal Household thanking him personally. It's all been such a success, he has uh, decided to present the Queen with a mohur as part of the Jubilee. A mohur, sir? Mohur, apparently some sort of ceremonial coin. I've been asked to find someone tall to present it. You're the tallest person here. When will she be arriving, sir? Not in Agra, in England. You will travel to England and present the mohur at an official function. Like an equerry. On a horse? Oh, I, I didn't think there'll be a horse. <laughs> equerry always has a horse. Mr. Tyler, sir. Well, maybe not like an equerry exactly. Morning. Ah, morning. This is Major Big, extra groom in waiting to the Royal Household Windsor, who will be in charge of your journey. This is Abdul, top hole. And this is Mohammed, who will also be presenting the Mohur. He's very short. We had to swap him at the last moment. The tall chap had an accident with an elephant. Good morning, Your Majesty. The head is the Lord Chamberlain, and the private secretary, the deputy private secretary, the ladies in waiting, the upper servants, the lower upper servants. Then the members of the household one, the head of the bedchamber, two, the personal head of staff, three, the butler in chief. Who is in charge of the household butler, the kitchen factotum, the head chef, the head of waiting staff, the ordinary waiting staff, Windsor, the table maids, then you? Any questions? Uh -huh. Who will have the mohur, sir? I'm not exactly sure as yet. I suspect you'll both carry it on a cushion. Do we both get a cushion? I really don't know. The key to good service is standing still and moving backwards. The most important thing is you must not look at her. Khabis Kinka. You any idea how cold it is in England? We're gonna die there. Why did you agree to come? The tall one fell off an elephant. I wasn't given a choice. Oh, 5,000 miles to present a bloody medal to the oppressor of the entire Indian subcontinent. You don't realize what a great honor this is for us. Have you ever tasted English food? They eat pig's blood. They do not eat pig's blood. I'm telling you, they put pig's blood in the sausages and brains of sheep. Oh. <laughs> this is completely barbaric. Civilization! Please, sir. Here's a father. Here's a father, sir. Arms. Arms. We copied them from some drawings in the British Museum. Splendid! You do know sash is not traditional, sir? The Indian drawings didn't look very Indian, so we made some innovations. The important thing is to look. 
authentic. Looks jolly good to me. Jubilee celebrations. Nine o'clock, breakfast in London. Quarter to ten, changing of the guard. Eleven o'clock, meeting with the Swedish ambassador. Twelve o'clock, luncheon with Oscar II, King of Sweden and Norway, the Norwegian ambassador, the chief undersecretary of state for the southern Norwegian provinces, the junior undersecretary of state for the northern Norwegian provinces. Two o'clock, ceremonial drive down the Mall. Half past two, tea party at Hyde Park for 30,000 children. Half past four, household departs on the royal train for Windsor. Half past six, dinner in the Great Hall. Come on, man! Chop, chop! And the ceremonial presentation of a moho. The Hindus, sir. Well, they're completely different sizes. There was an incident, sir, with an elephant. Hmm. The Queen arrives, fanfares, ceremonial entrance, the royal entourage make their way to the table to be seated thus. Her Majesty, Sir Henry Ponsonby, Private Secretary, the Secretary of State for India, the Emperor of Russia, Dr. Reed, Lady Churchill, Miss Phipps, etc., etc., Grace. Soup, potage Saint-Germain with puree de Madeleine. Fish course, morue au huître, fanfare, entrée, cannelle with Regency sauce, etc., etc. Dessert, pain d'empinard, tartelette à la Suisse, profiteroles, always profiteroles. You will come from the Northwest Service entrance, process together, and you will stand here. No, a little bit, that's it. Presenting the tray thus. Three. I thought it was a cushion. You will present the tray. Excuse me. Do I get a tray? No, we've only got one tray. Uh -huh. So what do I do? You'll just have to improvise. Whatever you do, you must not look at Her Majesty. You will bow again. Then moving backwards, you will turn to your left. You will lead thus, and you will process down the hall to be met by Mr. Big, who will walk you to the north wall where you will stand till the end of the meal. <laughs> 